Hi, my name is Alex Dolphin and welcome back to another episode of Ex Ante. Today we're going to discuss the case Lhasa v. Alexander. This case was heard in the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals in the year 1969. Let's go ahead and jump into the facts of the case. So this case is all about um, the construction of a Memphis City Hall. Um, this City Hall was meant to be constructed, at least in part, um, in mar marble. Um, so there's quite a few parties here. There's cross claims, there's counter claims, there's third party claims. I've uh, drawn up a little diagram to help visualize uh, what's going on here. Um, essentially what happened was Southern Builders was the head contractor of, of the city hall. They subcontracted with Alexander um, to install the marble in the city hall. And Alexander then subcontracted with Lhasa, an Italian company, to uh, procure the marble. Those subcontractors. Um, essentially, um, Alexander and Lhasa get into a tuss about the quality of the marble and lack of payment. Um, so they get into a lawsuit with one another. Um, and Lhasa sues um, Alexander, Southern Builders, um, Continental, Continental Casualty, and the city of Memphis. Um, quite a few of these defendants then assert cross or counterclaims back um, against Lhasa. And then the defendants assert cross claims with one another. Um, Alexander also asserts a third party claim against uh, the architect, Adela. So uh, quite a few claims going on here. And the district court um, basically said, we're not gonna hear all these claims in one case. This is far too confusing. Um, and they don't arise out of the same transaction or occurrence. And that's the key word from the rule, rule 13, is that these things need to arise out of the same uh, transaction and, or occurrence. And, and, and the district court judge says, well, these don't arise out of the same transaction or occurrence. These are separately, uh, these are different things in a lot of cases. So the, the cross claims um, and the third party claims, they're different things. Um, now, the appellate court overrules that. And, and the appellate court, in its opinion, states that we need to give a broad interpretation, a broad reading of same transaction or occurrence. Um, this whole lawsuit has to do with the marble in the Memphis City Hall. So the marble, they say the marble is the touch point for all of these claims. And because something went wrong with the marble, we have this lawsuit. So there's um, a logical relationship. There's a logical link between all of these claims. And for that reason, um, we're gonna hear everything together. Now there's a, a brief dissent where the dissent talks about how these are factually different um, scenarios. The cross claims, um, they're not really related to the original claims uh, in a reasonable way. There's no same transaction or occurrence. Um, and for that reason, we shouldn't be hearing these all together. Um, but the key thing to take from this case, and what's in the majority's opinion, is that there's a broad interpretation of what means same transaction, same occurrence um, for cross claims and uh, third party claims. So why might be the reason for that? Well, one key reason would be that it will promote judicial efficiency if we can hear all of the claims that have at least some type of a logical link, some type of a logical touch point to one another in a single case. Um, that will allow the judiciary to hear this one case and then dispose of the controversy rather than having to deal with multiple cases, potentially multiple juries, um, lots of the judges' time. So it's, it's really an efficiency thing. Um, we're meant to, this, this rule and this broad interpretation of same transaction or occurrence is meant to promote efficiency in the judiciary. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope that you have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.